Well, one woman who has spoken openly about her personal experience of the menopause is Meg Matthews. Meg joins me now. So, so good to see you. It Lovely really to see is. You too. And you have been talking about this, and, and sometimes been a bit of a lone voice in the wilderness for a while because yeah. you've been talking about this a long time. And it is so important that we do speak about it openly. We talk to our friends, we talk to our daughters, we talk to our mothers, our sisters, everyone. Yeah, that's what I think. The most important thing is to share with the menopause. Like when, when I first started um, about two years ago, I woke up one morning and it just hit me. I was like, what is going on? And my mum, I used to talk to everything about my mum, like my, you know, my periods, my, you know, my birth. And then um, she passed away. So I didn't have time to talk to her about this. And um, I just felt very alone and then all of a sudden I didn't put it down to because it was anxiety it wasn't um, like a, you know these hot sweats and these hot flushes it was a, I woke up with really anxiety headaches migraines mm -hmm. even nauseous uh, my breast swelled I uh, was I ached when I got out of bed and I just had all these symptoms and and I was too scared to tell everyone because I thought, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm just absolutely falling apart. Yeah, and you don't, the, the anxiety thing's really interesting because I think an awful lot of women suffer from that and they don't, yeah. and it is, what, it is sadly one of the many, many side effects of, of, of this thing that happens to yeah. all of us. Um, but that's a difficult one to recognise because we know about hot flushes and we know yeah. about all of these yeah. things. We know that sometimes you can have a bit of weight gain, all of that. Yeah. But nobody really talks about what's going on in no. your head. <laughs> but that part of it was like, I basically uh, woke, I had such so social anxiety, I couldn't leave the house oh. for two months. I pretended I had glandular fever. Oh, I just, I, the, I used to open my wardrobe, I couldn't even think what to say. I had this foggy brain. Um, I, I didn't know, you know what to put on. I, I didn't know what to eat. I was just like, you know, just sort of scared, just in my house, like not wanting to leave.